Could you imagine right now if Trump was like, hey, Aaron, um, I'm going to step out. I'm not feeling it. I'm going to just give it to J.D. Vance. He's going to be the president. He's going to be the candidate. There would be riots in the streets if the Republican Party anointed the VP, running mate, by the way, as the candidate who is going to be on the ticket. Think about that for a minute. So here so we the, are. The, I have questions around that because, again, I'm not American. You are. So he basically says, I, I've decided I'm not going to run. Mm -hmm. He says, I think you should vote for Kamala and Kamala's going to run. Right. Why is that an issue? Like, and, and, and excuse my ignorance, right? It, why is that an issue if she wants to run and he wants to give his blessing to it? Why is it an issue? It isn't an issue if she wants to run and it isn't an issue if he wants to support her to run. Okay. The problem is she's not running. She's being anointed, which means the people are completely out of the primary and out of the choice. This is a democracy where the people choose the candidate. Get so it? It, so the issue in your mind is, is that you it shouldn't isn't be able to— It isn't even my mind. It's how, it's how America works. Right. I just want clarity for the listeners. And so in, in your mind, it's fine to do that, but that she should have had to go through the primaries to be elected as the representative for that party. The United States of America is driven by primaries and election integrity. And that's exactly what that is. The primaries are designed for the candidates to compete and sell the American people why they should be the chosen one. You saw it happen with Trump, DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy, all of them, all um, Tim Scott. There were eight of them, I believe. That was the primary. They were competing to be the Republican candidate. OK, so let's but let's let's take a step backwards. In a situation where, and I don't know if this has ever happened before, somebody is has gone through the primaries and they're they've 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 got the votes like Biden did, and they either got sick, or they they didn't want to, or they died. Has there ever been a scenario like what's supposed to happen there? Like should the elections get pushed off and now there has to be new primaries? Like what's what would be, in your mind, the, the, the legal alternative that should have happened? Well, because of the timing, which we're talking about now, and the fact that it's very close out, they don't give themselves a lot of time to maybe structure a primary. The right thing to do, the American thing to do, again, it doesn't matter if it's if Trump or Biden. If Trump did this, it would be the same conversation, is you would have wanted to say, we are going to have to have a quick or a snap primary because we're now going to have to put candidates on the table and we're going to have to see who wants to challenge Kamala or anybody else that wants okay. to run. And we're going to have to have a primary. The, the, okay. the American democracy thing to do, these are, these are the people who every single day, they're like a broken record now. They're so fake. Uh, this is the most important election ever. We're fighting for the soul of our democracy. There couldn't be a bigger shit on democracy than installing a candidate. They do this in Russia. They do this in Venezuela. They just did it in Venezuela last week, by the way. Um, they did it with Putin last year. They installed Putin. Putin had plenty of people running against him, but they wouldn't, they, they don't allow it. Right. So that would have been the right thing to do is say, listen, because this is a democracy, right, we are going to have to get our asses in gear and figure out who is going to be the Democrat presidential candidate. Kamala Harris, I endorse her. I think she'd be good. Great. But if there's anybody else that wants to step up and come to the table, we're now going to have a primary on August 1st let's say, right before the convention, which is, I think, August 19th. And we're going to have to do this all over again because it's the people's choice. And right. there is so, no other way to look at it. Now, what they're going to do and what they've already done is they're going to spin it and say, well, we don't have to do that if we don't want to. That's like saying, well, listen, um, you know, you can smoke a pack of cigarettes in front of a family with five kids because you're sitting outdoor at a restaurant, but it doesn't mean you should, right? You know, it's wrong. I mean, you can technically do anything, but installing a candidate and not having a primary couldn't be more undemocratic. Well, my question for you is, is, is it wrong or is it illegal? I don't know if it's illegal per se, because it's never happened to my knowledge, but it's absolutely the wrong message you want to send if you're a champion of democracy to not allow the people to choose their candidate. Now, there's been very big Democratic donors and people have come out and said, why is she our candidate? We Says who? You? We, didn't, we never chose her. I mean, hmm. she might be the VP. She's a natural next step. Great. That's fair. And but maybe you know, she would have, maybe she would have won it in a landslide. There just wasn't she any would have, vote. She would have lost huge, which is also my skepticism as to why she was. So here's the thing that doesn't add up also, Aaron, is they were so quick to anoint her. 
But here are the facts. This is the lowest approval rating in American history, by the way, for a VP. She ran for president in 2020, and she was out with a 6% approval rating before the convention. And this is somebody who, in office, their first job was the border. We have the largest humanitarian crisis in drug trafficking and human trafficking crisis in U.S. history right now at the border. And she was in charge of the border. They quietly pulled her off and never let her speak again. And she's frankly just not an intelligent person at all. Um, Biden hired her, his words, not mine, because she's a, a, a woman of color. His words were, I want to hire a woman of color for the vice president. His words, not mine. So she was really put there for all the wrong reasons. I don't think it's ethical why, why she was chosen. She didn't have any qualifications. She's part of the wreckage of California. I have a laundry list of her policies in California. Her and Newsom combined over the last 10 years absolutely wrecked that state, literally wrecked it. So this is somebody, Aaron, where you go, And my sources are very good. I follow politics very closely. My sources all along have said they probably will put Michelle Obama up because she's an Obama and has a pretty good reputation and she's likable. There isn't one political analyst, Aaron, on either side of the aisle, by the way, who thought for even a minute that she could be elected Kamala Harris. But now she's anointed. Get it? Yeah, it's very interesting. The one thing I would challenge you on there is you said she's not intelligent. She might be not be intelligent in the way that you view intelligence, nobody makes it to that level of politics without being intelligent. Bro. I think you're 100% wrong. Here's why. Because politics is a is a, is a a game of connections. It it's, is not it's, a game of intelligence. But it's a game that, that has to be won. You got to be super sharp to make it there. But you don't, but not as VP. So now here's what you're not understanding. VPs are also anointed. VPs are not elected. Remember? Mm. So when Trump last week goes, J.D. Vance is my guy, there's no primary. There's no vote for J.D. Vance. I and don't he, like, seemed, I, he seems like an odd duck, too. No, he's a, he's a clean-cut, normal guy. I mean, the, the, media, the media will make him sound like an odd duck, but that's the same media who thinks boys can, boys can go have sex change surgery and turn into girls. So w- where's the credibility there? But to your point, VPs, they're installed. They're okay. chosen. So okay. when Biden chose her as the VP, he wanted to go with the woman of color thing. Fine, that's your, that's your prerogative. But still, she still doesn't change but, my opinion, though. But and she doesn't earn it, though. She didn't. Yeah, but she didn't doesn't get change my opinion, vote. though. And, and here's why it doesn't change my opinion: to <clears> reach <throat> that level of connections. Connections that, is one thing. Intelligence that is another. Level of buddy. network. That level of relationships. She might again. She might not be intelligent in the way that you think, but she is razor sharp, obviously, in some other areas because you just don't get there by stumbling and bumbling into that spot. Totally disagree. She is, okay. as dumb, she, is a, she is one of, and again, I would be saying this if she was a man, a woman, black, yellow, or green. I know, I know the spin that likes to, you know, when you challenge a woman of color, the spin comes out and they make, oh, if you wouldn't be saying that if she wasn't a woman of color. Yes, I would. I, I treat people the same way because I don't fall into the, the, the DEI cult. All right. Everybody's a person. Everybody is treated the same way. In my view, there is no skin color. There is no gender. Um, this is a person that if you spend time, and I'm going to ask you if you've spent a considerable amount of time listening to her speeches, Zero. I have. Okay, I can't tell often the difference between a Saturday Night Live skit and a Kamala Harris speech. It's almost as if she's drunk most of the time she's talking. There's either heavy cackling or giggling or just weird rants that go off in different directions. So I do not believe she's that intelligent. Um, Connections, I agree with you. You do need to be pretty well connected to even get into a a spot um, in, in politics. But you'd be surprised how corrupt politics is in America today where you can be relatively dumb and somewhat connected and still find your way up. 